What's up my beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. It's Lizzie Atkins. If you do not know already, thank you for staying with me on my beautiful journey. And to my new viewers who've just clicked on this video, thank you for clicking on this video. I do hope you join the family. Today, I want to talk to us on a level. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk to us small YouTubers, things that we're doing wrong. You know what I'm saying? Listen, let's talk. What we need to stop doing as small YouTubers. I'm still a small YouTuber. I'm still on the 500 subscribers. So I do know what I'm talking about. The first thing is sub for sub. Okay, people, we actually do need to slow down on the sub for sub. I'm not saying you can't do it, but we can't do that to get to the top. Now, why I say we can't do sub for sub, number one reason is YouTube always counts it as spam, right? Now, why do they count it as spam? Because one, when they sub to you, they're not subbing from the app. Two, when they sub to you, they need to watch at least two of your videos without skipping the videos. They actually have to watch it from the beginning to the end. They have to like and they have to comment something from the video, not just, you know, just any word, good video, nice video. They have to comment like uh, at least a phrase from the video or something and, they, and that has to be done for two videos. Now, before subbing, bear in mind, before they click on subscribe, they have to watch at least two of those before they click on subscribe, right? Now, that's separate. How do I know this? Let me tell you, I did not know anything about sub for sub when I started, like when I was active on my page. Let me not say when I started, because I started my page quite a long time and I began active just about last year, okay? I grew my subscribers from zero to 111 not know what sub for sub was. I only knew about sub for sub of recent and I tried it. I'm not gonna lie, it, it was overwhelming. Listen, my page was on fire. My DM was But bear in mind, as it was as I got lots of DM and I was getting lots of subscribing, they were not registering, okay? Like, so I'll post a post and I put the hashtag in a lot of, like, girl, listen, when I say a lot, a lot of people were DMing me. I got a lot of DMs, I replied to a lot of them, we did sub sub, and listen, the wahala behind that is even too much because you give, you tell people what you want them to do, they still do what they can't do. And you have to now screenshot to show proof. I felt like people weren't doing the same thing. And reason being, let's talk. That happened and a lot of people, I got a lot of subscribers, right? And I grew. Now, I grew overnight just about, I, I grew a bit. I uh, can't remember what the figure was, but I grew a bit, right? Now, I was excited. I can remember this like it was yesterday. I was excited. It was, I did that the whole night. 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. doing sub for sub. It was overwhelming. It was fantastic. It was a good feeling. However, my dear, best believe, I woke up, refreshed my YouTube page. <laughs> my numbers went down. <laughs> My numbers literally went down and I was like, oh, you were, I swear I went to sleep with you like more than this. So that didn't work. I sat back and I realized, you know, it didn't work because people weren't doing it from the app. People weren't watching my video before subbing and people were not following the steps. So it was like, it was a waste. It was actually a waste of time. So right now, I literally, I still get people DMing me for some reason. 
Anyways, I still get people DM me asking for sub for sub, and I say in the nicest possible way I can, I reply to them and say, oh, listen, I am not doing sub for sub. Let's just support each other. Watch one of my videos, like, comment, share if you do, if you want to share, and I'll do the same. Why are the same small YouTuber, I mean, small YouTuber gang, small YouTuber support swearing at me on my DM? A lot of people were so worried and listen if someone says they're not gonna sub for sub they have the reason okay they absolutely have the reason and if you're not gonna do it just be like all right cool bye then you don't even need to reply just exit exit conversation just exit their TM you don't need to listen as a bit eh? there were loads I deleted and now the point I was like you know what let me talk about this before I thought why am I going to talk about this? Like, I'm still small. I have no mouth to be talking. Like, who wants to listen to you, Lizzie? Like, stay in your lane. So, that happened. Now, YouTube algorithm would realize all of this is a scam or, or a spam and will bring your number back to its original state. Don't, listen, don't take YouTube for a fool, you know. Don't take YouTube for a fool. They know. They have the mathematicians behind this computer's calculating it. Okay? They set the system up all right to catch you out. So, work hard for it and it will come. All right? So, that's one. The second one is, as a small YouTuber, you want to engage your audience. Okay? Like I said, while I did sub for sub for that one night, when I watched, when I clicked on a lot of small YouTubers, video I realized a lot of us our intros are long okay and about anybody gonna sit down watching snap 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 pictures of you like they can go on your Instagram and do that it is and it was a bit off-putting and I was just like yo am I gonna sit here and watch all this before even going into the video so what we want to do is try and keep our intro short listen if you look at the big big names in youtube you'll see the intro is just bang, 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 straight into the video literally so what you want to do is try and keep your intro short sweet simple nice period straight into business give them the tea give them the coffee give them the entertainment give them the chocolate the biscuit the whatever the water everything you want to give them just give, give them straight right there you know what i'm saying now the length of your actual video during my research yes i researched i did realize that having a shorter video does not make you money so you want to make your video between nine minutes to 12 minutes okay you want to but don't make it long unnecessarily you want to make it long because your content needs it to be long not because you want it to be long if that makes sense let's break it down you want to make it long because what you are giving people what you're saying what you're showing what you're slapping to your audience what you're dashing out to your audience needs it to be that length not because you want to get money okay if you make a two minutes video you're not gonna get money off that i've gone and clicked on during this lockdown season i've gone back to like fitness videos that have been like four or seven years and they were like one minute and they were no ads run on them and they had a lot of stuff so i can 100 percent say with hand on my chest that they're not getting money for that video because it's not that long Okay, so you want to make the longer your video, the more money you can generate from the video. Another thing, the fourth thing is you would do not listen to me clear and open your ears. Why? Because this is very important. Okay, open your ears wide. You do not want to use copyright music. Hear me now? Trust me. I know you want to use I'm a Savage. I know you want to use all of these big, 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 big songs. 
But trust me, your mom is sitting down now today saying, Oh, I'm a small YouTuber, it don't matter, it don't matter. My song's gonna get attractions, gonna make people wanna watch my video. The song's gonna keep them entertained. The song's gonna make them wanna watch the video to the end. My dear, it will make them watch the video to the end, yes. It will probably make your video go viral, yes. But you are not getting money from that. Once a video is got copyright claim, it's not going to be eligible for monetization. So you want to go to YouTube, click on audio library and choose songs from there. Okay. You want to use songs from there. They've got so many different songs. They've got, it's not, I wouldn't say songs. They just bits for me. That's all I need. Anyways, like they, they're nice. They're different beats, the different moods, the different genre. Shoes from there. They even got they've got sound effects as well. So there's different there's sound effects that you could choose from. You can use that and not get any copyright claim on your video. You are good to go. Okay, so my dear, don't use that. Now, finally, finally, as a small YouTuber, even the big names are are, are still doing this, yeah. As a small YouTuber, you want to be consistent, like, yeah, like, hunger for it, like, drive, passion, you want to, oh, go for it, you know, let's go, you want to go get it, like, you just want to make sure, like, you're consistent, so, you want to make sure if it's only once a week you can produce a video, you, you make that consistency, but you need your consistency to be accurate, yeah. So, if you're going to be uploading once a week, you need to pick a day of the week that you're going to be uploading every single week. Okay? Because, yes, you're a small YouTuber now. We are a small YouTuber now. I am still a small YouTuber, don't worry. Yes, we are small YouTubers now, but the little that are watching us, they want to know exactly what day, when to come on your channel, when to set their phone alarm for to get a reminder that this person is going to upload a video today and that I must watch it because their content is good. I want to hear more from them. Because listen, if you say once a week and you're uploading this week, Sunday, next week, Monday, the following week, Friday, they're going to be so confused. They're, they're going to be like, okay. Just put yourself, okay, put yourself in the shoe, right? You're the audience for EastEnders, Oli Oaks, Emmerdale, and on and so forth. Now, if Emmerdale, EastEnders, Oli Oaks are coming every day, they're just popping. Any day, any time, they're just popping. Are you actually going to stay interested? Are you going to be a fan of it? No, because it's just, it comes on any time. You're going to lose interest. That's how you should treat your channel. The channel should be your platform. It, no, it's not it should be. It is your platform. It is that one platform that people can come and connect with you. And another thing is you need to connect with your audience. You need to connect with your subscribers. If people are liking your video, if people are commenting on it, like, comment back, like the comment, you know, show some love to your subscribers because without them, you're making videos for eh. You want to make them feel among, like among your family. My subscribers are now my family. So I always try my best to make sure I'm interacting with them. I'm, you know, showing love back from the, with the comments. I'm loving their stuff. I'm watching their content as well. Their content creators as well. And show the same love they're showing me. Tit for tat. You know what I'm saying? Show some love, they show some love. That's how we all gonna grow together. Yo, we got this. Like I said before, I'm still a small YouTuber. I'm literally still under 500 subscribers. So it's okay. I know what I'm talking about because I'm, I am still going through it. I am in it and I am working towards it. Okay. Just to round up this video, what we small YouTubers need to stop doing, stop making this mistake. Number one is stop sub for sub. Number two, the length of our intro. Number three, the length of our video. Number four, copyright 
and finally number five the key to read all consistency when you're consistent you're gonna see growth when you're consistent you're gonna see change you're gonna see improvement even in yourself i have seen improvement in myself this may challenge i gave myself i have seen a massive improvement in myself in everything filming editing in promoting i'm still learning things every day i am learning every day again this it's as a challenge i'm telling you it's hard who's who sent me who sent you Lizzie? who sent you lizzie you sent you to go and give yourself upload daily in the month of me who, who did you think you were <laughs> challenging as it is I'm seeing improvement and I'm not trying to give up. I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to go places and I'm trying to gain more audience. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you have, do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell to always get a notification every time I upload new content. For now, you do stay blessed and I'll see you in my next video.